Warm snow is an action roguelike that is uh, perfect for those of you guys who have a Hades shaped keyhole in your heart or no, or a Hades shaped scratch that you need to itch or whatever you want to call it. Um, it is, it does have a lot of elements like that. It does have some gunfire reborn style ele elements, but it is a, uh, like a top down action roguelike. And it's really, 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 really uh, addicting. Uh, there's some balance issues. There's some synergy issues and all that. We'll talk about that while we're playing. Um, but hopefully I can give you guys a good run. This is my second time doing a run here. Um, for, for, sorry, second time doing a recording uh, for this. And the first time went fine, went totally fine. I beat the game one shot, you know, so easy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but this time, totally tell the truth. Uh, but you know, I played more and I learned more and I felt like, you know what, I'm gonna go back and I wanna record some stuff. There's still some stuff I'm not quite sure about, by the way. Um, like for example, there's this progression stone over here that I don't know what it does yet. Uh, the game is uh, is a, a Chinese developer. Of, well, I don't know if it's a Chinese developer or not because there's a lot of things that are kind of questionable uh, that we know of, like in this game that would not be allowed in China. Um, but uh, that we do see that there's pretty obvious like translation things and the develop the, uh, um, the publisher is also a, is, a, is a Chinese publisher. Uh, so we don't really have a lot of documentation and stuff that we could we could kind of resort to. Um, but most of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory because we played a lot of these games, right? So we have two different classes that, that we have unlocked here. There's probably a third one underneath here eventually. Maybe one over here, another one. I have no idea. Um, but uh, this one is your starter one. We're not going to use this one because, I mean, it's great. Well... I don't know. Yeah, no, no, we're not gonna go for it. Uh, we're gonna go for so first off, there's um at the top is your actual class, the Seven Sword Shura, right? And this one over here is like the drunk or something. Uh the carousing uh Akalantha. Um and so burning blade, uh, increase all attacks by ten to fifteen percent chance to attack uh, uh, additional twenty percent in flame damage, and then over here. Whoops, uh, we have movement speed increased by 12%, melee attacks have 50% chance to deal 200% damage. Uh, you know, I think I am going to take, even though this is kind of one of the most, one of the, it's a starter, it's a starter one, so it's kind of boring. Uh, it is the kind of the core gameplay in terms of like how you, uh, you manage like sheathing your swords, which is you basically chuck them like this and then you pull them back, which it's on cooldown right now, uh, but you can pull them back and do damage on the way back. Think like Mjolnir, right? You're like Thor, except you have like a whole bunch of daggers instead of just one big hammer. Uh, and you can pull them from a very long distance away, but the maps aren't terribly big. Uh, so, but you'll see. You'll see. Do, 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 do. Let's do this. Okay, there was a guy over there, and he's dead now. Um, all right, well, I was hoping that that wouldn't happen. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was not going to... Not part of my demonstration. <laughs> there, but we'll take it then. We'll take it. By the way, this is the boring spec, all right? Just so you guys know. All right, we're going to pull this in. Nope. Get some melee in there so you can show you guys there are, there is melee in the game. <laughs> we just choose not to use it. We'll go around this thing. And then we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. Oh, oh, one, and then here we go. Gotcha. A great ancestor. Epic. All damage plus 4%. Enemy bleed. Okay, I'm excited. This is going to be a good run. This is gonna be, every common skill you have increases your damage by 5%. I'm not entirely sure what common skill is. If you go look over here, we have sect skill. Uh, oh, 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 okay. I see. I see. So I do common skill because these do have rarities. All right. That's the first time taking it and actually reading it. All right. So we got a pretty good start here, I think. Get those guys. Just going to start chopping, chopping. Oops. Should wait to the other side of these guys. Chop, chop, done. Smash this up for some more souls. Upper right corner, uh, 74 now. It disappeared. This is uh, some health. We're gonna go this way get some health. Means I don't need it. Ah. Nope. Nope. Health. We'll just tap it. Just uh, drain it. Keep on moving. Upper left corner. That's my health. There's also the sheath cooldown, and then there's also my gourds. That's how many heals I have available to me? Okay, just stood right there and took that shot. I was going to try to dodge the last second. Time that poorly. Get some hits in. We're doing pretty good. Just going to pull this over. Okay. Phase two of this boss. Mini boss, mostly. Get in here. Get some deeps. Oh, pull it in. Oh, actually, yeah, I think I... Oh, whoops. Okay. There is a, there's actually a pretty easy pattern to pick up on this one. You could just kind of juggle back and forth. Of course, I gotta get him out of this corner though. Come here, you. 
Or just stand there and just take a beating. Oh, she's on a bitch. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. How many swords do I have on me? None. Come here. I don't have any swords. Oh, Jesus. Dashed too far. There. Okay, what do we got? We have Wild Gust. If you have Wind Chaser Herb in your core slot, your core slot skill is 15% more likely to be triggered. Um, hmm, not quite as good as what I currently have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind it up. But first, we have to check over here to see if we have Ghosty Strand. Okay, so we don't have the thing that it's looking for, so we're gonna go ahead and grind it up. The young lady on the right there is gonna take me to the next level, so we could turn just a minute. Here's our sex skill. So if we take a common one, this one right here in the middle, then we will get a 5% uh, increase in, in uh, attack skill, but um, yeah, I uh, see cold blood can be triggered by flying sword now word and then during melee attack chance to shoot all swords in front cause weakness in any enemies. Okay. Hmm Let's go with the common. Let's go with the common. I Mean the other ones like marginally better, but I also like to have more control over my swords when I throw them around uh, and Plus there's lots of there's lots of these relics that you could pick up or whatever these slotted items that you could pick up and you can put into different slots. Each each slot gives you a different power. So every item has four different powers, right? And then every item also has, I think four, maybe five different, maybe four different uh, uh, rarities. Um, common, uh, let's see, is it yellow? This is white. Is that a legendary? Is that a legendary one? I don't think it's a legendary one. Anyways, so it said right here in the, in the core slot, it says if your enemy has a debuff, then gain doom effect that increases all damage that they take by 25%. So it has any debuff. So any debuff. Do I have a sword that has, uh, let me see, enemy with bleeding, enemy with burning. Okay, so we gotta find something that's going to synergize with that. Uh, let's see, chance to randomly cause burning or bleed or poison effect. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Go see Strand. It's gonna randomly just uh, add, add uh, fire damage and then uh, enemy with bleed. And there you go. Perfect. That's called synergy. And that's that's where the game is it, it, it's, it's so fun, but also uh, very frustrating because when you first start off and you're picking up all these relics, all right, Icebreaker Stone, cool. Let's see, Unleash a Shockwave to stop with deal six damage to enemies, apply adult damage to frozen enemies, increase by 30%. Um, let's see, she spikes you out of the ground, deal 25 damage, frozen enemies take 100 percent more damage. Okay, so this is all, all around not really particularly useful to me. But I could take this and get the, the shockwave going. Um, but as you get further on in the game, you're already pretty set in which one of these relics that you want, right? Which ones that you have uh, that you want to keep. And and it keeps on pushing these like rank one, like common ones, and you're just it's just a waste. You can't merge them, you can't grind them up into some kind of uh into some kind of material they could use to later um oh dang it. Upgrade or something. So there's no upgrade system for this, and that's that's uh, that's a problem. <laughs> now the game is not in early access, but they're treating it like early access in the way that they're doing updates and everything. So it might just be a cultural thing in terms of uh, game developers in China, where they just feel like, oh, well, the game's released, it's released. So this thing is early access, right? We're just gonna update the game as a, when we put it out. What a concept! What a concept! Uh, but they are putting updates out. Oh, I just barely missed. Oh, you son of a bitch. So maybe these are the things that are that can be improved upon. There are plenty of roguelites and roguelikes to take from. So I'm sure that there are things that they can iron out and smooth out a little bit. So there's a boss over here. Give me loot or over here. Get a purple thingy. Let's go over here. Those swine take a lot of hits. Good. I feel like a Kingsman in this. A Kingsman just a half a world away, you know? Half a world and, I don't know, half a millennia away. <laughs> okay, where are they at? Oh, they're over there. Gotta keep track of where your swords are, man. That's your secondary damage there. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then we pull it here. Oh god, every time. It's always the pigs. It's always the pigs. Beefy boys. Beefy, beefy. Let's get this. What is this? Oh, we get a common. Hey, two commons. Invulnerability from flicker extended. Nice. Enemy. Every enemy within melee range increases all damage you deal by 7%. No. Let's keep going with this. We still have that thing, right? Let me see. Um, okay, that's a common one. Oh, that was not a common one. Okay, well, still. Um, didn't I get a shoot a Zeus before it calls the... What was... What did I get that gave me the, uh... 
Oh, did I pass on it? Oh my god, this is the problem. When you do so many runs in this game, you just can't keep track of what the hell you're doing every run. I'm not even kidding. And it's mainly because, like, no matter how far you get, you keep starting back. Well, seemingly, no matter how far you get, you always start back in the same spot. So you end up blurring the lines on what it is that you've done, not done yet. There's an enemy here. Big enemy. I gotta get up. Pull these towards me. Do some focus damage here. Piggy, piggy, pig. Get in there, do the, do the, do the nasty. Oh, hold on a second, something's down there. Ooh, mini soul. Oh, increase all your damage by 1.25% for every 50 blue souls you have. I like this a lot. Uh, melee attack speed. Ooh, but you know what though? Let's go with this. Straight up speed increase, I'll take that. And a attack increase, yeah, okay, okay. The other one's great, but I want to spend money on things to show you guys stuff, right? So the souls upper right corner, that's what it would what it would count for. So every 50 souls, I get 1.25% damage increase. And so those are the things that I want to spend the money, right? We're just going to go through here. Lead him into the corner. Lead him to the slaughter. And this should be our first shop here. Mm -hmm. This is our girl here. Cannot attack her. She's very big. She has thighs that you can run into. She also has a butt that you can run into. Look at that. Look at that. They definitely plan this. They plan this for sure. Uh, let me see. Uh, we have a relic of pearl. We have a tricolor crystal. We have uh, one random relic of uh, unknown rarity. Purple. Oh, we got a pearl anyways. Okay. Uh, so gain a shield equal to 35% of your max HP and lasts for 10 seconds. Uh, or gain a shield equal to 8% of your max HP every 45 seconds, lasts for 45 seconds. Deal damage equal to the damage absorbed surrounding enemies when the shield breaks. And upon flicker, gain a shield. Oh yeah, this is pretty rad in this spot, actually. Let's take this instead. Uh, it just gives me a shield every time I dodge. And then all uh, damage frozen in. So this is going to go as soon as we get a chance. Let's go ahead and put in an active skill. That way we can activate that and have some fun with it. Let's go. Next. You're gonna get like a Dead Cells vibe from this, Gunfire Reborn vibe. I'm gonna get in here. Do some work. Yo. Oh, God, gosh, walk right into that. Oh, that was a little short range. Didn't realize that was gonna be so short. Ah, I'm trying to just burn him down. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Go and heal up. Swords are not gonna give me much help here. Maybe he's gonna attack here. Yeah, here he is. I'm doing that. I'm using that attack wrong. Mm hmm. Ah, right, here we go. Oh, ooh, that's a close one. Mm hmm. He's gonna do it one more time here, I think, before I burn him down. Love that that shield though. As long as I get that attack off, well here we go. Or that dodge off. Then I'll get that shield before I get attacked. Just get one one successful dodge is all I need before I get walloped. Yeah, he's done. There we go. Nah, yeah, nice, nice. Your first time taking on these guys is not gonna be quite as easy. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but it's really not. You're gonna, I already have a few upgrades in place and everything, and so, um, yeah. <laughs> your flying sword damage increased by 6% while sheath still is on cooldown. I'll figure it out. Okay, sheath. Okay, this is pretty good because I am using sheath, using, uh, swords. Hold on a second. What was that top one? Sheath has a 5% just reset your cooldown. Rage was not on your cooldown. Rage is 5% plays following you. Feel time. Okay. Hmm. Probably a little better than that. And then this thing, like I said, that one's just basically junk, so we're gonna toss it first opportunity we get. Then we have one little thing here where you go. Tempest Blade, melee speed, see? We're getting faster. Melee speed super fast. It gets insane. Like it really, it ramps up. It doesn't stop ramping up and then it ramps up further. It really is a game that just keeps on building on your power and you feel like a god. You start running through these levels and you're just like, oh yeah, psh, just kill everything, no problem. Look okay, at everybody's dead. See? See, do I gotta think about it? <laughs> but you always hit that brick wall. You have this awesome power, and then you end up going far enough where you end up reaching that balance. Oh, I went around him. That was so sweet. That balance of your power versus the difficulty. Nope. Nope. Okay, so we can activate. Oh, oh that's right. I forgot to change to the wind chaser or the wind thingy. Come on, two, one. 
Oh, uh, got him. You gotta get fancy for the last one. Get some more soul, 384. Let's go we get some loot. More magic chest. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, okay. Crossbows. Crossbows. Get out of here. Ooh, set of time, and it's purple. Uh, melee attack, 40%. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, we're stacking a lot of speed here. Um, let's see. Stasis. Increase your movement speed by 45% one second upon flicker. We'll keep the damage uh, mitigation. When attack, we see one layer of Mahurta moment. Now, let's go here. I don't know what Mahurta moment is. But look, we're going to get rid of this thing, aren't we? We're going to put it here. Finally, we get rid of this. Whatever it's called. The, the, the ice sheath bone thing. I don't know. Okay, let's go to the end. Crush through them. Watch out for their very long swing time. <laughs> Follow through upon sword pickup. Oh, oh, this is really nice, actually. Whenever you pick up a sword, a little bit of that, and then when you call them back. Oh, I thought you did a little sword attack on that as well. Let's go get into the sword, by the way. They call them Excaliburs. All the swords are called Excaliburs. There's, um, <clears throat> there's also some like unif unification between the different uh, references of uh, like the same item. Uh, what I mean by that is that you'll see something called one thing in one area, and then you'll see it called a different thing in another area. And I think it's purely a um, a translation thing, just a loss of translation thing. So you'll see like flicker. Uh, you, may, you might see dodge somewhere, <laughs> meaning the same thing. Ooh, Hawkeye. Range damage, 12%. Good, we're doing a lot of... Uh, oh, if you have Flying Sword Boost, the effect of your Flying Sword Boost is doubled. That's going to be better. Oh, it's also Frozen Damage takes extra. Okay. Uh, do I have Flying Sword Boost? Let me see. You start to lose track of the stuff that you have. Let me see. Flying Sword Boost. Boost. Nope. Um, oh, we could always um, try to find it. Uh, there's a lot. I should mention this. There's a lot of different elements to each game. Like, there's a lot of different uh, materials or um, effects or statuses. Uh, and there's a list right here if you want to take a look. Uh, it's it's significant. There's a ton of things that you could do, and there's a lot of synergy. There's um, there's flame damage, but uh, but you can have an item do flame damage and not inflict burning, for example. So there's different like tiers to the or different categories, I guess, of the damage, even of of the same element. So there's a lot of different combinations of things that you could do in the game, and it actually that's what adds to the fun, but also adds to the peril of not getting an item that you desperately need <laughs> for a very long time. Berserker Blood, Pearl, another rare item, or some health. Let's take a look and see what we have here. What do you want? You want Flying Sword Boost. Okay, we don't know what that is yet, but... Ghosty Strand, uh, 50% of burning. Okay, cool. Burning is good. And Flying Sword damage 6% while she's cool cooldown. That's good also. So the Pearl is one thing we could probably replace, if anything. Oh, I am a melee speed. It's insane! Um, let's see, maybe Berserker Blood? Ooh, and it's purple. Um, let me see. Next Flying Sword, ah, there we go. Your next Flying Sword deals 30% damage. Cool. Melee attack speed, and then Melee or Flying Sword, 60% grant you Rage Explosion. Yeah, let's do this instead of that, and then we could probably put this somewhere else, maybe. All attack, uh, 10%, upon dealing to all attack, put 0.5% stacks. Okay, so we have stacks. Alright, cool, Ghosty Strand, see you later. We done. Oh, let's go and see. Maybe we got we got the money. Let's do it. See, we won't be able to do the oh wait, hold on a second. It's a sword. Millennium Ice. Hmm. No have. Uh all damage seven. So seven and six, thirteen percent. I have twelve percent on the one, and then any poison and eighteen percent. Okay, cool. So it doesn't my, what I have does not synergize very well. But the other one doesn't either. Oh. Hmm. Hold on, I guess I might as well go ahead and You can't grind up these uh these relics, by the way. Um, God, do I risk? Do I risk? Hold on a second. I kind of want to see what the death blows get. Let's try it. Is it a white? Oh my God, it's a white. Son of a bitch. 80 death paddles. Uh, device death mark. Okay, let me see. Yep, yep. Well, that was a waste of money. Let's go. <laughs> that was a waste. Uh, upper right corner. I don't know if you saw, but there was a red flame. The red flame will later turn into a red crystal. Um, you guys could watch this cutscene for a minute here. Uh, the red crystal you could use for your your account bound progression, just like you would in any other game. Dead Souls or, uh, or Gunfire Reborn comes to mind. Risk of Rain, I think, also. Yeah. Take a drink. Here we go. 
Mm. Or maybe not. Or maybe. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> you guys will never guess what's coming up. <laughs> All right. He's got a couple rolls here. <laughs> oh, belly flop. Now he's going to run out of energy here soon. He's a relatively rotund gentleman here with poor stamina. Oh, oh gosh. But enough to do some work though. Hold on. There he is. Okay. Whoa, man. Oh God. Okay. We have to get some distance here. Come here. This is going to be rough. I might not make this. Shit, tired. Okay. Look at that speed. Look at that fucking speed. The speed proc. Yeah, it's not gonna save me if I get hit by anything, though. Oh, gosh. Ah, psych! You thought I was gonna get hit! <laughs> uh, no, it's much, much worse than that, actually. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Pull these things back. Get my timer going. I should have done a long time ago. All right, here we go. And go. Timer's up. Do work, do work, do work. Dodge. Do work, do work, do work, do work, do work. Pull the swords in. Go, 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 go. My sword's just bouncing off and hitting the ground. <laughs> They're not doing shit. Although, if I can touch them, I can do the extra. Attack. Whoa. I don't want to pull my swords in yet. I want to save that ability. Oh, hold on. This is going to be a big... Let's hide the corner. Okay, good. Good. Go, 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 go. Then we pull them over. Try to do that. Some bonus damage. Throw them on the ground. Big swipe. Woo. Oh shit! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh, that hurts! Oh man! Okay. Okay, this is our moment here because it's gonna come up. We're already doing damage. We're already doing damage. We're already doing damage. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. There we go. There we go. Collect, 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 collect. Oh, this is the, oh, this is the breath. No, 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 no. We gotta dash. We gotta dash. Take over the speed. Nope. Woo, baby! Hold on a second. Berserker blood. I think I have that, don't I? Didn't I pick that up just now? Didn't I pick that up? The melee speed plus 10%. Okay. Uh, chance to trigger the explosion. Hold on. What else is this then? I do have Berserker blood. Okay, it has to be slotted in the core slot. Okay, there's herbs. Not going to do anything for me right now. Oh, no, no, no. It's not going to do anything for me right now. Healing effects. Ha! <laughs> Healing effects. Get out of here. Uh, let's see. Bloodless blade sword fusion with attack chance to take no damage and shoot a flying sword that knocks the attacker back. Enemy takes 10% more damage from each flying sword stuck in its body and upon sword pickup. That's pretty rad, actually. Huh. Uh, upon sword pickup, attack and movement speed are both increased for six seconds. Can stack up to seven times. Okay, yes. Because I get in, I get in close, man. All right. So let's take a look at our this see rage explosion every two seconds and then the sword says chance trigger is 10 percent oh it's only 10 percent attack speeds up but it's 10 percent i lose a lot of damage right see melee attack speed and i move, lose a, the range damage flying sword boost oh but flying sword boost uh, range explosion. let's just try it let's just try it we'll grind up the other one we'll just commit you know no big deal i have no health we're probably not gonna get very far anyways i dropped this by the way uh, let's put this in here and then increase your speed by 40% second. Yeah, there we go. Now we just have speed on speed Okay, we don't need that That corrupt scum. I know corrupt scumbag. Let's get out of here. Let's go <clears throat> Why you never speak? I'm a loner daddy a rebel I speak to no one oh, Hold on uh, souls, I see this. Ooh, oh, it's your lucky day is more than a rare, dude. It's a legendary. Well, it's the legendary color. Blue Dragon Spirit. Oh, this is new. I unlocked this, actually. So you will not see this until you get several hours into the game. Well, like a, 
like five, five hours of the game. Uh, let's see. If you keep moving over three seconds, your next flying sword attack deals 150% more damage. Flying sword attack, 30%. Just a flat damage increase. That sounds awesome. I might take that there. Next flying sword uh, attack becomes charge of lightning. Every eight seconds deals 70, 37 true damage. And the rage. Okay. Okay. Wow. Um, I would say this one, and then all attack plus one percent attack with so Okay, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I hate to see the pearl go, but see, every 45 seconds, deal dip. Yeah, no, it's gotta go. It's just not part of my build. It's just not my style. Yeah. Fate Tower, the next zone. Let's do it! We're going all the way this run. Until I find a certain scroll that basically ends the game. And I'll take it because I have no choice. You'll see. It'll come up. It always does. But for now, let's see how quickly we can burn through these guys. Well, look at that speed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chop, chop. Nope, nope, nope. And then... Those crossbow guys get me worried. <laughs> I don't know why. They take so long to do anything. Oh, guys, that's right. There's the mole guys. The mole ninjas. Two. There. Now this guy, you come out here. There we go. Get some more souls. Let's go over here and get some more souls. Burning souls. Way overkill the number of swords I'm using. Throwing swords. <laughs> but hey, it works out. You call them back later, right? The refresh on my cooldown is really look at that. Look how fast it goes down. I can use it constantly. That's a huge, huge increase. Like to effectiveness. Being able to burn that down and then immediately call him back again, that's freaking great. <laughs> Do that. Oh! There's some guys hiding in the shadows here. This thing keeps them cloaked. There's another one over here. Yep. Super long swing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no crossbow, guys. No. Uh, one and go. Oh. Try to be slick. What do we got? Poison sack. Ooh, it doesn't really help me out very much. Yo. This is great for fight. No, no, no. This is great for other builds, not for mine. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it alone. Can't grind it up. Can't turn it into dust or ember or, or souls or whatever. Can't use it to upgrade anything else. It's the only downside of the game. Seriously, it gives me this, the super auto pets vibes. Where, like, you could be hella far into a run and just give you garbage ass tier one rolls. Shit like that. It doesn't lock out common or anything. Where are they at? Oh, the way over there. Okay. At the very least, you should lock out common, don't you think? I'm getting all kinds of achievements, though. Oh, there's some baddies over here. Damn it. Okay, mm, new sword. Yeah, let's see. We got pretty good synergy going with all my relics. Maybe we could get something uh, going with more synergy with the sword. I can't get my head off to lower my, my cooldown. 
I keep my match against a clunk, 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 clunk. Ching, there it is. Thanks. Oh. Now I got him back already, so, so it doesn't matter. There's somebody over there still. Yep. <laughs> Hold on. Let's let him come to me here. Aha! You revealed yourself! <laughs> Warmonger! Ooh, uh, Bruise Herb! Nah, 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 nah. Oh shit, I forgot to grind it up. Dang it! Oh! Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, man. It's gonna happen, chat, okay? <laughs> Two sands of time, huh? Now let's get this relic. <laughs> it's another set of time! <laughs> Jesus, I really want to take this. Let me see. Enemy stasis, 1% attack speed. Okay, uh, nah. Well, you know, I don't feel like there's a lot. I don't know if there's really a lot going on here between my Berserker blood and, um, and yeah. So let's do this. Let's swap this. Let's take Berserker blood and put it, like, anywhere else. Um, your next flying sword. Flying sword. So you mainly say you're, okay, yeah. So your next flying sword. And this one is moving here for one sec. One second. That's nah, not that much. All damage is increased by 25% of your bonus movement speed. Oh wow, that's pretty red. Okay, let's put that here. Flying sword damage decreases by sixty percent while sheath skills on cooldown. Effect decreases cooldown shortens. Only my heart the moment stacks up to ten times. My heart the moment is stacked up to ten times. It's really covered twenty six. Okay, let's take this for a spin. Wing chaser, or probably let it go for now. It's sad, but we gotta let it do it. Should I get another Santa time? This is rock a full like Santa time build. <laughs> the best relic in the game. We got four purples. Oh shit, that's a bad guy. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm never ready for this. Yep, okay, now we're gonna get. Oh, gotta get clever time. Yep, gotta pick him up when he gets close. Mm -hmm. Let him do this nonsense. Okay, that's the real one. Okay, yeah, yeah, come on, bring it. Okay, there's two of them. He's over here. Yep. Okay. Oh, three of them now. So there again. Ooh, it's done. Oh, damn. Now he's going crazy. Half health still left. Let's go ahead and refill if we can. Move. Oh. Okay, next. Okay, next dive there. Okay, next next burst we got him. Whew. Got it. Damn, baby! Woo! Oh, we got a gourd! Uh, oh, it's uh, okay, well, not that great. Also, not really for this build. It can be, but I don't want it to be. Uh, frost damage, nope, pond damage, damage, increase all damage, target 3.5 seconds, effects out of 10 times, pretty great. Let's take that one. And then we have, ooh, Avalanche. Uh, if you have Big Bone or Icebreaker Stone, your melee attacks have 50% chance, all damage, and movement speed 4%. Nope, we'll take this. And we'll grind this one up before we leave. There we go. Shing. Okay, lots of baddies, lots of baddies, lots of baddies. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Oh, no. Oh. It's, it's the ninjas, man. Like, I just can't. It's just too, too sneaky. Alright, one, zero, go. Where are you at? There you are. Where is this thing? Oh, it's way over here. Yeah, we gotta keep an eye out for that. Hmm. Oh, I missed. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Not slick at all. Oh, okay. 
was a good fight. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, she used laser beams and books. She's the first to get bursted down. We see one. Look at me. Dude, I'm a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> oh, there's more. Oh, y'all sons of bitches. What is this? What is this? You gotta be kidding me. Fuck. <sighs> Oops. What do we have here? Ooh, a purple wind chaser herb. Okay, maybe a little bit better. Also, maybe not. See, flying sword attack, not as good. I uh, see sheath 10% reset your cooldown. Wait, sheath has a 10% chance to reset your cooldown. Okay, just have blaze 30%. Okay, your flying sword damage increased by 30%. Okay, yeah, hmm. Might be better than hurt the moment. Uh, yeah, actually. I'll take a purple one over that. Yep. All right, here it is. Take a drink. I don't believe I have a good a good build for this, but we'll see. Try to get close to some watch her tells. What her tells look like? I don't know. Okay, she's a portal. Oh, there's that. That's just my blades on fire, I think. Does it? Does it work with blades? No, it does not. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Gonna refresh our health here. What's that do? Nothing. My first time I faced her, I, I died like immediately, so I don't know if it really counted. Okay, good thing the portals don't hurt me. I don't know what that means, but it's bad. She's mad. Portal. Oh, it's growing. I am not even close to beating her. This thing's growing. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do I get over there? Oh, there's a nuke. Oh my god. It's a lot of nukes. Where's she at? Oh, God, right there. Oh, man. God damn. Oh, you're safe now. Smash the frozen black. Oh, what the heck? Oh, rad. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it. I did it. I did it. Good, good, good. Is there another one? She's mad because it won't help me. She knows. She knows. Okay. So close to, I think, the second phase. Oh, man. Oh. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Because... Oh, now it's going to go to this phase. Fuck you. <laughs> it's totally fine because I don't want to ruin too much for you. So here we are at the end. We get to meet with our big friend here. We got three of these red flames, ember things that have been converted into crystals. And we will now use that to further progress our tree. It's pretty easy after the first couple hours and you get a couple things in this tree and also get used to the controls and the game and the relics and all that stuff to get three per run. Uh, and each tier takes one takes three in order to progress to the next one uh, i am currently working my way down death try to do a lot of damage hopefully do more damage before they do damage to me kind of thing right uh, melee attack speed one there then you see true sight ignore four percent uh flying sword reduces sheath cooldown by five percent or ten percent and then melee attack speed is going up uh, wait. oh i have to go down here hmm hmm let's see let's reset let's reset why don't we get down here 
I saw uh, Cory go this route. Cory Donis of Wanis in the community. He, uh, he had a whole bunch of gourds, and and he was just like, yeah, everything was just like he was just living through everything because he just had so much. Yeah, gourd limit, H HP. Like this is the route I normally take when I play these games. Um, but yeah, you can just reset it anytime you want, which is, you know, cool. <laughs> uh, so you have attack deals 25%, more than 25% of your max HP damage. You take 70% less damage for 1.5 seconds. That's pretty red. Toward the spirit, if you're below 20% HP, increase herbal gourd's healing effect by 25%. Also red. Uh, you can go over here, go forge, which is where you get all kinds of crazy, uh, um, elixirs and all this stuff, which I have not even seen once in the game yet. So, <laughs> uh, max HP plus three. Uh, see when your herbal gourds run out, reduce damage taken by up to 15% with two of those guys. Guys. Reduce wounded effect. So max HP. Let's do one, two right there. Look at that. And that just completely changes the way that I play. And then I go to uh, restart and I'll start back where we started at the beginning of this game. But no, we're going to go to quits to get to the main menu so I can tell you more about the game, where to get it. My name is Mike BAK. Funny, the game's called Warm Snow, available uh, on Steam, $17.99. Uh, again, it's not early access, but they're treating it as such uh, with updates and whatnot. A solid game as is. If you're into these kinds of games, um, a lot of fun. You're something, you, something you'll get in on a weekend and just basically spend the entire day just grinding it out and then probably put it down and never touch it again. But you know what? It was worth it. My name is Mike B again. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.